A business headshot, also referred to as a corporate headshot, is a photograph that shows the face of a person. The goal of the business headshot is to convey professionalism. This is often accomplished through the specific posing, setting, facial expression, and clothing. A business headshot does not differ from a regular headshot in terms of composition. In other words, a business headshot is just one specific category of a headshot photograph. With all that being said, let's dive into 22 business headshot tips that you can start using today as a photographer and as someone who is looking to get their business headshot taken. The first tip when it comes to business headshots is to match the headshot to the subject's brand. Just like companies, we as individuals have our own brand or what we are known for. For example, are you the CEO of the company and seen as authoritative, powerful, and trustworthy? Are you the HR in a company and seen as approachable and friendly? You want the image to match the brand of you as an individual. This is done through photo composition, the setting, the outfit you wear, your facial expression etc. We will be covering all of these in the next tips. The second tip is to think about and know where the photo will be used. For example, will the photo be used for a LinkedIn profile picture? A Facebook picture? On the company website? The reason you need to know this as a business headshot photographer is because this will help you plan out the photo orientation, background, lighting setup, and color. For example, if all the images on the company website will have a white background, then it's important to know this before shooting the business headshot on a black background. Also, if they will use it on LinkedIn and you choose a vertical orientation that is hard to crop for LinkedIn, then it may provide issues where it chops off the parts of their face. The third tip when it comes to business headshots, and just like any other photograph, is to use proper lighting. Think about the three-point lighting setup. Or do you want to use natural lighting? It's important to know what lighting setup and lighting type you want to have before diving into the photo shoot. The fourth tip is to keep the backdrop or background simple. Since this is a headshot, the focus should be on the subject, therefore you don't want a busy background that will detract the viewer's eye away from the subject. The backdrop you choose also plays an important role into how the final photo looks. The background options range from white backgrounds, black backgrounds, other various colors, to an office setting that is blurred out. The choice is yours, but also remember to back the backdrop or background to the subject's brand as mentioned in tip 1. For example, having a black backdrop may promote a more moody slash serious image opposed to a white background. On the note of keeping a simple background slash backdrop is the fifth tip of choosing a natural environment. If you decide to choose a background slash backdrop that is not a simple colored background and want to use a natural setting, then it's important to choose a location where the subject is comfortable. For example, this could be the subject's office or another location where they feel comfortable. Capturing images where they actually work can help them seem authentic to their brand and will help them feel more relaxed which will help when it comes time to photograph. The sixth tip for business headshots is to dress to impress. If you are taking a business headshot, you will want to dress as if you are meeting a new client. This will help you stay on brand. This means keeping things simple and not wearing something that you normally wouldn't wear. By wearing something you are familiar with, this will help you stay comfortable and more relaxed during the shoot. The seventh tip for corporate slash professional headshots is to keep the hairstyle and makeup simple and professional. When it comes to makeup and hairstyles, there is a saying that says, simple is best. It's best not to layer on tons of makeup or the layers of foundation may show up negatively on photos. Once again, similar to what you should wear in a business headshot, you will want to do your makeup how you usually do it in your day-to-day -day office activities, to stay on brand and look natural. Similar to what to wear in makeup, you will want to keep your hair simple. Choose a hairstyle that you are comfortable with and is simple. Imagine you are meeting an important client, how would you do your hair? Go for that look. It's important not to try out any new fancy hairstyles especially those that go upwards, it may be cropped in a photo or hard to capture within the frame. For guys, it's recommended that you get a haircut at least a few days before the photo shoot and not the day before. This will give you more time to look more natural in your new haircut, and it will give you time to make any adjustments in case you didn't like your haircut. The eighth tip for business headshots is to remain in good posture. Not only will good posture help the photo composition, but it will allow you to appear more professional. Good posture exudes confidence and professionalism. Reminding the subject to have good posture is a responsibility for the photographer, but it's important for the subject slash model to remember as well. 
It's important not to go overboard and look stiff, simply sit up straight and put your shoulder back while remaining relaxed. Sit as if you were having an in-person interview. That's a good little way to remember it that I like to tell people. The ninth tip is to stay loose. This may sound simple, but it can be easy to forget, especially if you are the subject and you are not comfortable with having your picture taken. Feeling loose and relaxed will show across in the image through having a natural smile and personality. This will result in a better photo overall and it will allow your brand to come through the image more naturally. The tenth tip is to think about props. Props may or may not be necessary for your business headshot, but it's good to think about them. For example, including a computer, desk, or camera in the image if it helps convey your subject's brand more effectively. If you are going to include props as a photographer, it's important to understand the brand of the subject as well as the goal of the photo as mentioned in tips 1 and 2. For example, if the business headshot is of a CEO going on the company website, then you may not need any props and an image of his, her face will suffice. But let's say you are taking a business headshot of another photographer for their website, then maybe including the prop of their camera may help better align with their brand. If you can't decide to include or not include props, then try taking a photo with and without them. The 11th tip is to keep a hand mirror around. By keeping a hand mirror nearby, the subject can give final checkups to ensure that their hair, makeup, and clothing looks how they want it to. By knowing what they look like, they will feel more relaxed and comfortable during the shoot instead of wondering or hoping that their hair looks a certain way, or that they don't have a shiny spot on their forehead. The 12th tip for business headshots is for the subject. This tip is to drink lots of water the day before and the day of. By drinking enough water, it will keep your skin looking healthy. The 13th tip is to avoid lots of salt the night before. Similar to drinking enough water, you will want to avoid a lot of salt the day before your photo shoot. Having a lot of salt in a meal can cause your face to appear bloated due to the water retention. And as you can imagine, this is not good for photo shoots. The 14th tip for professional headshots is to get enough sleep. In order to have a fresh-looking face that looks alert and interested, it's important that the subject gets enough sleep before the photo shoot. Getting enough sleep will ensure there are no harsh bags under the eyes and the overall skin will look healthier. The 15th tip is for the subjects or people looking for a business headshot. It is important that you hire a professional for your photo. A professional will be able to turn your vision into a reality. It's best to invest in a professional photographer so you can have a professional looking photo. You can have your friend snap a photo on their phone however you will tell that it is not a professional image. Having a professional looking image will help with your overall brand image and appearance. The 16th tip is for photographers to make their subject feel more at ease. The tip is to have a conversation with your subjects to make them feel more comfortable with you. It's important to remember that getting your photo taken can be a nervous experience especially if you aren't feeling confident in your appearance and you are in front of a stranger. It's important to keep the atmosphere light and tension free by opening up a dialogue between you and your subject. Make sure to keep the conversation light just as if you were talking to a friend. Walk them through your steps and how you operate and provide encouragement to your subject, letting them know that they are doing great, this will provide them confidence and reassurance. The 17th tip is to decide whether the subject will go glasses or no glasses. If the subject is a glasses user and everyone in the office always sees them wearing glasses, then it may be good to have them wearing glasses in the photo to maintain their brand. If they are a glasses wearer and they opt not to wear glasses in the photo, make sure that there is no red mark on their nose from the glasses that will show up in the photo. 18th tip for business headshots is to pay attention to the camera height. You will want to ensure the camera height is nose, eye level, or just a bit above eye level. Avoid the creative angles for more creative portraits other than business slash professional portraits. If you have the camera too low you may expose a nasty double chin or make someone's face appear larger than usual. If you have the camera too high, you may end up making them look like their head is little. Pay attention to your camera level and make sure it looks like you are looking directly at the subject from my level. The 19th tip is to smile or not to smile. In our photos, people often tell us to smile, but what if we aren't comfortable smiling? When taking a business headshot, don't just tell them to smile, first ask them if they prefer to smile or not. Then ask them if they prefer a lip shut or lip open smile. Not everyone is comfortable when smiling. And remember, you want the photo to remain on brand and if that person isn't much of a smiler, then you wouldn't want to force them in the photo. I've found that telling people to smile in a photo creates a fake-looking smile.
You can tell by the way the smile doesn't translate into the eyes. It's best to try to make them smile by telling a joke or telling them to think of something that makes them laugh. I've always found that self-deprecating humor always makes them put on a little smirk. The 20th tip for business headshots is to not rush. This is for the photographers. When taking a business headshot you may feel the need to rush, especially if you are taking photos for the whole company, however, it's important to take it easy. Just remember easy is fast, and fast is easy. If you try to rush the photos, not only can the subject sense that which may cause them to feel uneasy, but you may ignore or forget the tips we have listed in this guide. For each subject, take a deep breath and take your time. You can take your time without going slow. Make sure the lighting is right, the subject has a good pose, you are taking the time to converse with them, and you have given them a mirror to look at themselves. The 21st tip is to take multiple shots. You will want to have plenty of options to choose from a pose to having only a few select photos. It's best to take multiple shots of one pose from slightly different angles, just remember to watch the height like we mentioned. It's also good to take multiple shots because in some images, you may have your subject blinking or it may be out of focus. Oftentimes, it's hard to tell until you see the images in post-production. The 22nd tip is to get a new business headshot at least once a year. As mentioned in our very first tip, a business headshot is very important for one's professional brand, which is especially true in this digital age we are living in. Often every year, your brand can change just a bit, you may change jobs, you may be promoted, etc. With those changes, come new looks. It's important to capture your new brand. In conclusion, we hope you enjoyed this guide on business headshots and learned something new. Now go out and use these tips and if you liked the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe.